Hello YouTube, it's Melissa and I'm back. I'm going to start another layout and so I wanted to share what I've got out for right now and it is these pictures of my son. He turned 10 recently, last month actually. And so I pulled a craft paper because I wanted to kind of busy this up like birthday type themed um, which happens to be, you know, this old paper collection that I pulled and um, I've used this once before years and years ago. This is Karen Foster Designs. So these all kind of went together. Nice. And I want to really busy it up with like celebratory birthday type stuff. So I thought a nice neutral in the background would be great. I also pulled these stickers that I have from That's My Boy. This is an Echo Park collection and you know, I kind of like a lot of these sayings that I thought I could use off of this sticker sheet. And as far as stamps, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use, uh, but I do like this Bella Boulevard. This is Love This Boy on here, and then this Paper Smooches. This is a birthday sampler. And, you know, a lot of fun sentiments. And so, uh, again, not sure what my plan is, but I do know that possibly using some circles incorporated with maybe the uh, Instax type photos. I know these are just printed at home, but um, you know, making them look like faux Instax, it's easy enough to do. And then I'm thinking, you know, if you've watched my videos long enough, you know I'm not a huge banner fan, but I'm thinking of bringing a banner in. So this is a Christmas tree punch from Stampin' Up, but um, I can just use the top bits. So so yeah, we'll see what happens and where I go with this, and uh, so stay tuned. <laughs> Bye. Hello everyone, I'm back, and I have the finished layout, 12 by 12. And so I will do a close-up for you, and then I will go through and tell you how I constructed this page. Uh, I absolutely love it, and I was able to use some really old products and get them out of my stash, which made me even happier. So starting at the top up here, um, well, so I was able to use, let's actually start here. So th this here, this orange with the stars and here, this was an old die cut with my cameo. And I used the other piece on a layout once before, and this was my scrap. So I went ahead and cut it in half. I put some here, I had it kind of falling off the page, and here as well. Okay, so I'm going to put this little bit in my stash. Now, I pulled out from my boy stuff, the Echo Park That's My Boy, and I was able to use quite a few stickers from here. So, um, so that's where I got this details from. I used some of the paper I told you. This was the back of some of that birthday paper and I used my Stampin' Up, my um, notebook punch. I used a tag, which I cut with um, a piece of ephemera. Actually, it's kind of funny because this is from the um, cakewalk maybe. It's like a balloon. And so I used a little bit here. I cut the flag off and put a little bit here and then that was the remnants up here, sorry. And um, so I cut that with my Studio Calico Tags die. Um, I didn't end up using these two stamps, and I didn't end up making a banner like I thought, but um, I did end up using some other stamps, of course. And so, um, so yeah, I went and added some string and just twisted it around and used my tiny attacher to staple it down. I used the bits of that green paper that I had left over Growing Like a Weed is from the Echo Park. That's my boy sticker sheet. This is from the sticker sheet. Um, let's see. This red die cut. I actually used my Stampin' Up! Starburst framelits. And then I went and used the framelits circle collection. And this was just a piece of graph paper that was in my stash. And so I put that here, and then I used vellum and some Island Indigo 
Stampin' Up ink and some clear embossing powder and made this little embellishment with this Technique Tuesday. This is called Favorite Circles by Ellie Edwards. And um, yeah, so I put it on vellum and then I took my MFT little numbers, the one and the zero, of course, and I cut it several times to give the gray cardstock some dimension and then just added some like Estella clear glitter on top. Birthday boy. I know you guys have seen me use these stickers. I'm trying to use them up. These are from Karen Foster, and this is what I have left. Um, it's just a clear sticker. So this ribbon here, um, I'm actually pretty happy to say that that was in my stash, and this is all I have left. So I'll be tossing this in the trash. So, yay! And actually, I went ahead and added a button and some crochet twine. So here are just scraps of paper. Um, I pulled some paper from one of my 6x6 six six pads. And you know, for me, if it's not long enough, I just cut it in half and piece it together in between. So, let's see. Um, just use some enamel dots here, 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 here. Um, double digits. So double were some alpha stickers that I pulled from here. They're a fun blue. And then the digits, that actually, these have been in my stash for a really long time from the paper loft. And so I, I pulled them off of here. I was happy to, to use those. I did my journaling with my typewriter, my Heidi Swap date stamp. And also I um, used a bread for my stash. And then this today is meant to look like a piece of flare, but I used an epoxy bubble. And another Allie Edwards. This is called Fun Flare. And I used the Today. I was going to use the Cool, but, you know. And again, I used the Island Indigo ink for that. And, yeah, I love the way it turned out. I'm super happy with it. So I'll give you another quick look. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments section below. You can find me on Facebook at Cut It Up Creations and over on Instagram at Cut It Up Creations. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good day.